Rare scene in China where major protests erupted over the weekend against President Xi and the government over pandemic lockdowns. In Shanghai, the situation has escalated, where police were seen at times shoving demonstrators. Large crowds have gathered in roadways across multiple cities calling for an end to continuous lockdowns for repeated COVID-19 testing. Some are even demanding that President Xi Jinping and Communist Party leaders step down. Critics of China's zero COVID policy argue the social and economic toll of extreme lockdowns are more costly than the benefit of trying to contain the virus. Joining us now from Beijing is NBC News correspondent Janice Mackey Freyer. Janice, thanks so much for being with us. Um, uh, the New York Times article this morning is fascinating. It, it talks about how she and the government, they've been so successful at being able to block off channels that would usually lead to collective engagement. But what they've done with their COVID lockdown, they've united farmers with students, with entrepreneurs, with everybody across the country. How serious is this? Well, it's effectively, it puts everybody in the in the same COVID boat, uh, whether they're a migrant worker from the Northeast or a, a financier in Shanghai. Uh, after nearly three years of uh, pandemic rules, everybody is, is feeling worn out by this. And there was the expectation that things would get better, that things would ease, that China would open up even a little bit after the 20th Congress, once the Communist Party had its uh, leadership established and that hasn't happened uh, if anything the attempts to uh, ease the covid rules have led to them bearing down even more we're in uh, effectively a lockdown here in beijing restaurants are closed businesses are closed people are being told to work from home my kid is off school again for the third school year and and people are fed up with this so this has been building over months what it needed was a catalyst uh, there was this this deadly fire in Xinjiang that killed 10 people and people saw that as a reason to take to the streets and they're calling for an end to these uh, restrictions uh, they want freedom from it they they want to be able to uh, live normal lives they see the rest of the world doing it it's at the point where state television is having to cut away uh, to different mm. scenes at the World Cup broadcast because uh, they don't want to make people here angry at the fact that that all of the fans in the crowds uh, aren't wearing masks anymore. Uh, so there is widespread discontent, and that is now spilling out into the streets. People want change, and Xi Jinping uh, has some hard choices to make, and they're going to need to be made soon. Uh, the unrest is showing no signs of slowing down and could very well spread.